Hello everyone welcome to another video on the CryptoCult channel and on the CryptoCult channel today we will be discussing the MetaMask airdrop has been a hot topic in the crypto community especially because MetaMask is going to track your IP address if you are going to participate in the airdrop because they don't want one person to claim with 10 MetaMask wallets because making a wallet is free so make sure you just apply with one MetaMask wallet so you don't become ineligible so this guide will be very quick and very simple it will be easy to follow along if you have not made your MetaMask wallet you can follow this video and get a metamask wallet ready make sure you have some ethereum in your metamask wallet and make sure you are subscribed to this channel because like airdrops this subscribing to this channel is also free so let's see how do you claim this airdrop so hopefully everybody watched the last video and installed the metamask extension set up their wallet and had their seed phrase copied in a very secure place now we will go to chainlist.org okay we also went it in the tutorial now connect your wallet to this website and it will add popular chains to your wallet and here we can see different changes so let's add binance and now we have binance chain added to this wallet so we have ethereum mainnet and binance chain now we will also add avalanche to this that is the avax chain now switch network now we have three chains added to our wallet now it is advised that you use a new wallet and fund it with ethereum because you will need some ethereum in your metamask wallet so as you can see i have around 0.5 ethereum in this and around 500 usdc so try to keep less fund in this so in case you connect it to a website unknowingly and you get hacked you won't lose too much funds because crypto is a risky place so it's better you keep your wallets empty now to claim this airdrop you need to use the swap function of metamask and then send the swapped fund using a bridge to another chain for example in this guide i will do it with ethereum chain and then send the funds to the binance chain you can also do this swap in the binance chain say exchanging one bnb with some usdt and then send those funds using a bridge to the ethereum chain or the avax chain so this is how you will do it i am going to follow through ethereum and then send the funds to binance but you can also do it from binance to avax or something like that just you need to use the swap function and you need to use the bridge if you're worried about the fees that is one workaround but to maximize my chances i'm going to do it with ethereum since everybody is assuming it will be done with ethereum now you need to use the swap function inside the metamask so just to increase my chances i will try to increase the volume i will let's just buy some more ethereum and we will just swap it with, with ethereum so maximum usdt i'll take and i'll just review that swap it will give me a proper code for my swap so currently i'm getting 4.3 dollars in gas fees so there will be a gas fees since the price of ethereum is low the gas fees is low so you can see it is very dynamic so i'll just click on swap. and let's buy some ethereum using metamask so what will happen is that metamask will see that you are using its dex so it will qualify you for the airdrop so my transaction was completed and now i have around 0.95 ethereum ethereum in here and around 1163 dollars worth of ethereum now let's swap again to increase our total swap volume so we bought around 0.46 ethereum right so let's swap 0.5 ethereum and let's swap it with usdc so that we get our usdc back so again we are paying some fees on it so that is something that we'll have to get used to you can minimize the impact if you have some friends you guys can you know combine your money in a single wallet and then try to do this swap and then after closing we say that we got our usdc back and we have around 0.45 ethereum in this wallet now now what we have to do is we need to use the metamask bridge. and the use for that bridge is that for example i have usdc on ethereum chain and i want it on the binance chain so bridge will help me do that so i'll just connect my metamask wallet and we'll click next and we'll connect it here okay so make sure you're using the correct links i'll put all the links in the description because there are a lot of fake things also there so current network is ethereum and this network i'm going to do is is binance smart chain the token will be doing is usdc and let's put in 500 usdc and it will give us a quote how much we will get so it takes some fees 0.4 dollars i think it takes i will approve token and bridge in, it will give us a bridging time so around four minutes is estimated time and this is you can see all your transaction make sure to verify this that it looks good that you are approving 500 usdc fees is around 0.85 dollars and we will move it to our own binance chain wallet and we'll click on confirm and now transaction has been sub submitted so it will take four to five minutes so do not panic wait for it okay your transaction has been submitted as you can see and now it will take some time to arrive so it has not arrived yet so i can see on my binance chain 
that what I have here is only BNB. If you don't see USDC after say 10, 12 minutes, you can just click on import token and paste contact address of USDC token on Binance Smart Chain. And that will be all. Okay. Now there are a couple of problems with this airdrop. First of all, the airdrop status is unconfirmed right now, but the chances of MetaMask doing an airdrop is very, very high. A lot of people with re very reliable sources are implying that MetaMask is going to launch its own token and people who have used MetaMask's offerings are going to be eligible. As you know, the airdrops are given to people who are early adopters of some system in a particular chain so for metamask their swap and their bridge is what we are going to use to be eligible this guide was posted on a very reputed website take your chances with it everybody almost uses metamask so i think the value of that token is going to be good if they for example introduce that you can pay fees using the metamask token so it's worth the chance and it's worth the fees we will be paying in ethereum after you are done with it you can transfer your token back to your own different wallet that you are not using for airdrops like i will do just now make sure to use the official links I attach all the links in the description so you guys won't get confused and won't get scammed the airdrop is is not guaranteed just remember that some people will get it some people will not get it because it is a very popular airdrop so maybe metamask will just choose people randomly it, it happens during airdrops so don't get disheartened if you don't get it we will give you another guide soon so that was it for this video guys hopefully you liked the video if you have any doubts you can post them in the comment we'll try to answer as much as we can make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future airdrops we are continuously making a lot of content around airdrops and around other things in crypto if you want us to explain anything in detail in upcoming videos you can also put that down there thank you for watching the video hopefully you have a nice day